If you don't want to be in a smelly uh, lab five hours a week, um, don't major in computer science. Audience to uh, help people that were struggling. Did you? Is there a reason that you did that? Did you maybe have some struggles in university? So yeah. So I definitely did. That was really cool. So the podcast episode that I was on, podcast called Tech Intern, just ran by my friend Jason Goodison, who works for Microsoft as a software engineer. That episode is out now. I know I talked about it in my last video, but it's officially out. It was weird hearing my voice on a podcast, but it was actually a great experience and I'll make sure I link it down below if you wanna check it out. I talk about my internship experience and a little bit about my journey into computer science and software engineering. I'm gonna be honest with you all. I didn't think I'd make a video like this ever. However, I think this video is really valuable because I'm gonna be talking about basically the things that, that sucked when it comes to majoring in computer science. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about my experiences and I'm gonna talk about some things that people may not talk about when it comes to computer science. So it's not gonna be just about like programming, but it's also gonna be about how computer science can affect your social life. By the way, do you guys like this setup? My desk is over there, but I have like this extra Ikea Linmon desk. It's pretty small so I can move it around in different places, but I figured I'd do a different setup. I don't like doing the same setup all the time as you can tell, but um, also the window's right there, so sometimes it's, it's kind of weird pointing the camera. What is up, everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jossie Lin Jay, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the five reasons why you should not major in computer science. The first reason is if you're only majoring in computer science for the money. Yes, money is a motivation, motivational factor, and it, it is very important. It's one of the main reasons why I chose computer science was because of how lucrative the field is and how stable jobs are. However, if money is your sole purpose and you aren't becoming a computer scientist because you wanna make an impact or anything else outside of money, then you will struggle in college because money can't drive you to get out of your comfort zone almost every week. It won't drive you to actually want to learn outside of what your teacher tells you to learn or outside of your curriculum. It won't give you that discipline to not go out partying every weekend and actually have to say no to your friends because you have an important programming assignment. On top of that, if you're just doing it for the money, it'll show when you're interviewing for jobs and don't really know much about computer science and you're just regurgitating everything your teachers taught you. Plus, when you study computer science, more than likely you're gonna become a software developer. So if you actually hate programming, you're really gonna hate it doing it eight hours a week for, I don't know, five, 10 years until you find a different job. When you study computer science, you're actually studying computational theory. You're learning about data structures, algorithms, time complexity. You're doing a lot of math and you're actually doing a lot of science as well, which I'll get to a little bit later. And you'll be very disappointed. As a matter of fact, most of those kids who only want to study computer science because they want to do like web development or app development in school, they get really disappointed because they realize very quickly that computer science has absolutely nothing to do with HTML and CSS. So save yourself the headache. And my recommendation is to start doing web development on the side. So maybe hit up your local coffee shop or small business and ask them, do they need a website? And that's how you can get experience as a web developer because you're not gonna get any of that experience in college. But before we continue, I wanna give a special shout out to the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community where millions from all around the world come together to take the next step in their creative journey. With thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people, you know, like, like me and you, on topics including computer science, design, photography, illustration, software engineering, and so much more. Skillshare classes include a combination of video lessons and a class project, almost like if you were 
learning online. And Skillshare has classes that fit your schedule and skill level. For those of you who are interested in pursuing computer science, you can take courses like Computer Science 101, Master the Theory Behind Programming, Basics of Computer Science, and Data Structures with Java. The first thousand of my subscribers who select this link down below and in the description box will get two free months of Skillshare Premium. For those of you all who want to take it to the next step because you're like, dude, I want to major in computer science and I want to get a head before I even start, or maybe you're behind and you need more help because your professor is incompetent, whew, that's some hot tea right there. Skillshare is less than $10 a month for an annual subscription. It's totally worth it, especially if your teacher is incompetent. Once again, thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And let's get back to the main content. The third reason why you don't want to major in computer science is if you hate math. Yes, you will be doing so much math. You will be studying so much math and taking so many math courses as a computer science major. I'm sure you've probably seen videos like, do you need math for software engineering? You don't, you typically don't. I would say 99% of the time you don't need math for software engineering. However, computer science is not software engineering. Software engineering stemmed from computer science. As a computer science student, you will be taking Calc 1, Calc 2, Linear Algebra, Discrete Mathematics, and yes, a lot of the computer science courses are math related like data structures and algorithms. So if you hate math, don't do it to yourself. And if you're not the greatest at math and you also don't like it, if you don't test into Calc 1, you actually have to take, you know, maybe algebra or college algebra and pre-calc and then calc one and then calc two i wasn't the greatest math like tester so i didn't test into calc one so i actually had to take college algebra which was a joke and also had to take pre-calc calc one and calc two not to forget you also have to take multiple lab sciences so you will have to take you know a chemistry or a physics course which requires mathematics as well so math is just everywhere it's integrated into computer science like your thumb is integrated into your hand the fourth reason why you don't want to major in computer science is if you aren't willing to make sacrifices I know college is supposed to be the greatest time of your life and you're supposed to find yourself and party and whatever. But if you want to major in computer science, sure, you'll have some time to kick it and hang out with friends and go to parties. However, you're going to be making a lot of sacrifices. I know Karen and Molly really want you to go to Jack's party on Thursday night. But if you have a computer science project due, Friday at 11.59 or even Thursday at 11.59, I highly doubt you're gonna be able to go to Jack's party unless you're a genius or you planned early to finish the project or you finish the project early, which let's be honest, never happens because you have a bunch of other courses. You have to make a lot of sacrifices. You'll be in the lab at 11.59 p.m. You'll be in the lab Thursday at 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m. So you have to be willing to make those sacrifices so while all your other friends and other majors are kicking it all the time and they're done with their work, you'll be busting your butt, but you know what? It's gonna be worth it. And the fifth reason why you don't wanna major in computer science, it's if you are afraid to fail. A lot of people who major in computer science are really smart. Let me guess, you had a 4.0 in college and maybe you got a 32 on your ACT and I didn't even take the SAT so I don't even know what a good score is. Maybe a 1450 or maybe you were valedictorian and you just, you did so well in school. Newsflash, when you study computer science, you probably won't be doing as well. Just to give you an example, I was not used to failure when it came to academics. The lowest grade I ever got in high school was a C. I got one C in high school, that's it. And it was like second semester of senior year. When I studied computer science, the second semester, I had to withdraw my first ever intro to computer science course because I was failing and was afraid to not only fail, but I also was afraid to get a D, which is something I couldn't afford that early in my career with scholarship. I couldn't sacrifice my GPA at such an early point in my career. So I had to withdraw from that class and take coastal kayaking to make up for the credits. 
But what I'm trying to tell you is you're going to fail. Maybe you won't fail a course or you won't withdraw, but you might not have the GPA that you desired. In high school, I graduated with honors with over a 3.8. In college, I graduated with like a 2.86. But I'm proud of that 2.86 because computer science is really hard and you have to be willing to fail. When I mean willing to fail, I'm talking about like almost weekly. So that concludes this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Comment down below some of your thoughts or struggles regarding computer science. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it at all. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I love for you all to become part of the family. And as always, I hope you all are having a blessed week. I will see you all soon. Peace. I can't even, I don't even think my arm can stretch that far. So I'm just gonna just fade to black like now.